Hey guys, George31 here with another video, and this one is about what NBA 2K16 be good. Now, NBA 2K15 was a tremendous sports game, definitely set records in the sports industry for gaming, and it did have some flaws that will hold it back from being a perfection, totally you no know, overall game. And I'm going to go over some of those flaws in this video that I believe 2K16 could, you know, really improve on to make this game very good and definitely a legendary sports game to go down in history. Now, I'm going to go with the first flaw here in 2K15, and that being my player story consistency. Now, you know, the story is very fun. All that keeps you on the edge of your seat in NBA. Very fun to have. But no matter how, like, short it is, you can't really blame it because it's the only sports game currently that actually has a storyline in their video games that's actually, you know, well put together and actually organized. Now, MLB, Road to the Show does not. Madden, you know, my player does not. Uh, nothing else does I can think of. NHL does not have a just kind of storyline put together. It's all just keep playing games and improve your play. Which was very fun over all these years until you see that it can be much improved with a great storyline. It's like you're actually playing in the storyline and you're actually playing in that era of the NBA. Now I believe that it was very fun in 2K15, best one I've seen. There's a lot of cutscenes, endorsement deals, and all this fun stuff. But after your first season, if you played it, it ends and that's it. You do not have any really any more endorsement. You have a couple more endorsement deals, a couple more cutscenes with your you know teammates. Very bad overall after your first season. You know you'll be five years into your season, and James Harden, for example, come out and say, "Good game, rookie. Stay in the." You know, it really doesn't make any sense, you know, because after the first season, they really didn't try to make a good game out of that storyline. But they actually do have Spike Lee coming in to make the story this year, and he's a great, great, great movie producer. I cannot wait to see him come in, you know, actually make a game and help 2K out. If this goes good with movie producers, I can actually see this being a future in gaming. You know, movie producers coming in and helping out with games and, you know, them actually getting paid like that instead of creating their own movie. You know, just something about the future, having movie producers come in. And I believe Spike Lee, he's a great one at that. And I believe he can do great things to the 2K world. And hopefully we'll see that in the My Player next year. Second here, I have to talk about online connectivity issues. Now, that was a big deal with park, online gameplay, you know, coming out when the game first dropped, especially. First, like a month and a half, you would get into a park, the court would glitch out, you're done. Connectivity would kick me back to the dashboard, would kick me back home, it would do all this stuff so many times. I'd get into an online game, which would be so laggy with my good, actually have good connection. I'd go to my friend's house, same problems would occur at his house, but he says he doesn't know why, because it's the only game that lags like this. And you know, 2K would say they're sorry, this is their problem and all that, which is very frustrating because, you know, if you pay for a good Wi-Fi and you're very excited to play this online game, and they just cannot handle the online connectivity issues with all the players and servers. I believe they can improve this. 2K has always had issues, from my belief, of playing with, you know, 2K games. It's like 2K13 Park, you know. Everything they've played, they've always had some sort of connectivity issues. It takes forever to get into a game, or the game doesn't work, or it needs to get kicked out. Like, they have a lot they need to work on in that, and I think them improving that tremendously and making that a key focus could definitely improve this game online and definitely bring a lot more revenue for sales with people that are online gaming. Now here is my third thing I want to talk about, the third flaw from 15, 2K15, and that is my GM owner goals. Maybe you guys agree or disagree, but this was a very, very frustrating part in the game for me. Maybe you just want to snap the disc in half, you know. Played in the Minnesota Timberwolves, a very fun team to play as, and you know, start to build up a team. I played with them for three seasons, full seasons, played every single game in that season. Going to save up the team, I was fine with the owner, you know, because you have to do goals for him, which is, you know, nonsense because some of the goals are actually impossible to do. Because if you play, let's say, four minute quarters, and now in the NBA, there's four quarters. Now, four, eight, 12, 16. That's 16 minutes for a whole game if you're playing four minute quarters, and he'll ask you to play a drafted rookie. You know, for 28 minutes a game, which is so far impossible. Even if you did play 28 minutes a game, what if the rookie's not what you expected to be? What if he is, you know, a bust? And you forced to play him 28 minutes a game. You can't say nothing else to the owner. You know, it was very just not fun. The owner goals is not smart. They just guess up some stuff to do at the beginning of the year, and then they want you to do that if it's good for the team or not. I really did not like that. It really just created a lot of fun and experience, a lot of flexibility to play on and my GM. Now, hopefully. That will be somehow renewed next year. They say, actually, the 2K16, they said they're actually taking 2K fan ideas. And they're actually having, like, just looking at polls. They're looking at forums. They're looking at, you know, wish lists and trying to think of ideas that can incorporate more better, you know, just better stuff. And 2K16, my gym, and my owner. And hopefully, NBA, I do see them do that. I believe they will try to whip up something more realistic, and I hope they do. Definitely improve the game. Now, the last one here I want to talk about, which was a big key focus in their video game last year, and that is Park. I'm sure you're a big fan of Park. Most people are. I, I do love Park. 
Hold on one second. I got my phone rigging. Sorry about that, but what I was saying was, you know, Park and how heavily emphasized this is in the 2K series. You know, how good it is and how just they want to make this thing a key part of the 2K sports game, you know. And I do love sport, you know, do love Park. There were some issues when I first started that really threw me off of it. You know, as I said, the connectivity issues was one of my complaints in this series of the video. And that, you know, it just it was hard to play. You'd go and record, you'd be on a three-game win, you'd get kicked out. That's it. It's impossible to get into another game. You know, it was very, kind of like GTA Online when it first, you know, dropped. If you knew what that was and you played that. Uh, it was very, very frustrating. You know, they did fix it, and it took a long time to fix. You know, so it actually did work a little bit better, but it always had issues. Always had issues. And I believe now, when I mean, it's been out for so long, and if it's pretty good now I haven't had an issue in a while now but 2k really needs to whip up their server to make that a key point I believe in their game you know but and there's a lot of stuff that really frustrating with park you know I believe squad it was very annoying you know you'll be waiting in Jordan Rex Center for your players you need one more you know sunset baller to play on the court which is a full game so it takes forever to end you know it sucks to wait of course we're waiting the whole game and then here comes a squad and they all just come up join as another guy was running up to join us you don't know what I mean by that I was maybe talking a little bit confusing there four people on a waiting spot to get into a game you need five maybe someone was about to come in when you're friends and then next thing you know totally five random people come up to the squad position and they join that and you have to wait another hour to get in it makes you not want to play park it makes it very frustrating it gives you a really big headache and that's very very something i don't want to deal with so that's something that really is frustrating with park so second being instead of squad it is waiting you know that all has to tie together a little bit but waiting for a game is very frustrating especially as i said jordan rex it's about 45 minutes and about it's about 35 minutes very frustrating to wait very annoying i don't want to sit there and look at you know other people play that long same thing with you know just at the park you know it takes forever it takes about 50, it can take up to 30 minutes i mean but it usually is a little bit faster than that. It takes about 15 minutes. But when you're sitting there looking at random people play on a park, it's very, very boring and very, very just not intuitive. Nothing to do. All they do, you just sit on a spot. You can't leave the spot. You sit there and just watch. Very, very annoying, as I said. I'm using very a lot of this video because it makes me frustrated being a 2K, you know, fan. But that's really when I get off my chest, guys. Hopefully, you guys have the same, same, you know, agreeances with me. So thank you for watching. I do believe this game is definitely going to be a buy. This game. Is something you should get if you did not get 2K15, you, you slept on it, do not miss on 2K16. It's going to be a great game. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like that button. I mean, please like this video, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you guys later.